What is going on, everyone? Normally, I like to reserve my news for Mondays, but there are actually three pretty big stories I wanted to cover today. So you're going to get a bonus news episode today. Before we resume Fat Pack Friday starting next week, I have ordered the final pieces to Fat Pack Friday. So strap in. We're going to finish this thing so we can start Deck Builders Toolkits into history or through history. I want to talk about a couple of good things and one thing that, yeah, I like to just point out because, you know, reasons. But today there's a couple of topics that has a lot of people kind of divided. In in some ways, it seems like Wizards of the Coast can do nothing right because us Magic players constantly get annoyed by it. But they took an opportunity uh, to get some, in their opinion, positive PR. But I think it actually resonated with the existing Magic players not too well. I read a lot of comments about um, them donating. Well, let me go back. So while back i'm not sure exactly when but cassius marsh is a professional football player a, a puff, you know foot sports player for the seattle seahawks and he recently had his magic card collection stolen so wizards of the coast swooped in which undoubtedly they saw as a great pr opportunity and donated a millionaire <laughs> two thousand dollars worth of magic cards okay so that is how I obviously that has the perception that I've been given by many magic players. They didn't exactly like this. There's a lot of magic players across the country who get their collection stolen, stolen all the time. And wizards of the coast isn't sending them $2,000 in cards. So obvious PR move is obvious. You could see the string of tweets, the Seattle Seahawks themselves tweeted about it. Then wizards tweeted about it. I mean, this is like a coordinated, uh, double handy J uh, to be good. Uh, you know, I obviously I'm a bit of a cynic. I see right through all that. Uh, but at its core, it's a magic player who had his shit stolen. And it does suck. And uh, Wizards did look out for him. But I think, you know, it's outweighed a little bit by the fact that most magic players struggle to be able to afford to play the game and see... To see a professional sports player get $2,000 in cards is kind of not rubbing people the right way. It's probably a net positive uh, because, you know, most Magic players aren't as curmudgeonly as maybe I am. I don't have a strong opinion on it, but given all the interaction with it, I thought I should maybe ask what you think. I mean, I think it's a net positive, but a little out of touch in 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 a in an era where more people want to play magic than can afford to play it giving a millionaire free magic cards doesn't really resonate well uh, there are lots of people that didn't like when i got free magic cards and that helped motivate a lot of people <laughs> to disliking me so i mean i don't know about this i mean good for him hopefully he plays magic i i better see his ass at a local game store now that he's got two grand in free product from wizards um the other thing I wanted, the other topic I wanted to talk about before I have a big reveal at the end, which you already know what it is because you read the title, is uh, a bit of a concerning rant uh, that uh, a very popular magic personality went on. And now I'm not one to uh, pull punches, and I've already addressed this with this person directly uh, and has been responded. I showed video evidence, and I've yet to hear any response. So what's interesting is, is on the heels of how my how to fix standard video, I thought it was really relevant to point out where a lot of this toxicity comes from. It's, it's the same. It's, it, this is very similar to the reason why like the election yesterday was so frustrating. It's, it's not just scary knowing that Trump won and he is going to be our president. It is knowing that there's all these people out there who, who are like, yeah, this is like, this is what we want to do. Like, this sounds like a great plan. It's knowing that all those people are out there saying these things. It's just terrifying. Like, th th it's, it's very similar to this, right? It's not just that you should discount Twitch chat and say, like, they're being bigots. Let's not pay attention. It's the fact that they're out there saying these things. And it's just like, God damn it. These people are out there. They're at tournaments. Like, maybe I meet them. I don't know. You know, I actually feel really bad for Gabby. Um, I don't, I'm not even mad at her. It's, it's just, per, it's a perfect example of what, how divisive and how 
fear mongering media has affected magic players just as much as anyone else. And it's really sad to me. I believe she really believes this. I think she really is afraid of people for who they over who they voted for. And that is really sad. Um, in this time after this election, like, look, everyone got worked up into a lather by the mainstream media. Everyone knows this. And this is part of the problem that we're dealing with at local game stores. I mean, people are out there that actually believe that an ele that, that this people are out there that actually believe they're in harm's way now over a presidential election. And it's just not true. They, they, people are out there reading stuff like Buzzfeed and they go to MTV for their news. I mean, we need to heal. We need to get some perspective. And I know that most of the people that play this game lean a little bit left. In fact, I consider myself left leaning. Absolutely. I just, Let's all just chill, okay? We've got FNM this week. Please, Gabby, I hope you can see some, some a silver lining that in four years you'll get to vote again. Please don't be afraid of other Magic players just because of who they voted for. And please don't perpetuate that this kind of attitude is okay. Everyone's going to be fine. We're going to play cards with goblins and dragons and reanimated skeletons. Let's all just relax and play Magic. All right, so let's get on to the good news. Wizards of the Coast, big thumbs up here, all right? I gave you some shit on the, on the donation to a rich guy. I think that's warranted. But uh, here, they have come out for the players, I think. Now, the Cynic and Me, look, I'm just going to tell you. They're reprinting, they're doing a reprint of Eternal Masters, okay? As of today, they announced that it's going to be a modest reprint. Uh, so that it doesn't take away from sales from Kaladesh or Aether Revolt. Okay, very happy to see this. The printing will not be allocated by store level, and you do not have to sign up for it. Um, instead, they're leaving it to the corrupt distributors, I mean distributors, to allocate their amounts. So the question is, will distributors actually give us enough uh, to make it available? That is the question that I'm very concerned about. But that's not really up to Wizards, right? So I can't really blame them if distributors hoard, right? That's another problem they have to deal with. But what's interesting, okay, is in big, bold letters in their letter to the local game stores, they said, we hope you'll use Eternal Masters for boosters dra booster drafts. It was specifically designed to be drafted. While we understand that this surprise reprint m will make it an irresistible holiday gift for many, we feel that each box represents an opportunity to host a truly special draft experience. What they're saying is, please don't hoard this. Please don't gouge your customers and sell booster boxes. Have Eternal Ma Masters on the shelf so people can come in and draft. I like the way they worded this. I read right through the lines very easily, and you know your local game stores will. Now, the scrupulous ones will heed this message, and... The dicks will continue to be dicks, but I think this is a huge win for players. I'm happy to see more Eternal Masters out there. I didn't really get to draft it at all, so I'm really hoping that my local game store has some um, some drafts at a reasonable price that I can attend, and you should attend it too, because quite frankly, Wizards, this is unprecedented, and this is a for-the-players move. Uh, Front facing, sure, my guess is sales are down and they're trying to create some more buzz and get more product out there and sell more product. So what? I'm not going to pick at this one. I'm not going to pick at this one. I'm happy. More Eternal Masters is going to be out there. I hope more of you get a chance to draft it. Three big news stories tonight. I want to end on a positive note. So guess what? You'll be able to draft some Eternal Masters for Christmas, hopefully. Thanks for watching this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.